someone who is immersed unconditionally in the Paramatman consciousness that is dissolved in it completely and forever, this being might manifest or generate various transmissions that might even seem to be incompatible, such as energy and devotion and silence. Paramatman has the ability to turn itself into any one of those frequencies spontaneously. So it will sacrifice itself as energy or into energy and become Kundalini Shakti. It will sacrifice itself into love and become devotion. And still maintain its unmanifest position as light. Still that. And that's really how it becomes everything in creation. How it generates from within itself the capacity for worlds <clears throat> and the beings that exist within those worlds. From the Shakti, it, the elements are formed. From the elements, life it happens in a flash and manifests in aeons of physical evolution in the universe. Instantaneous and elongated throughout time, apparently. That's what it looks like. When you come deep enough into a body-mind and you look out into a world, it appears as though that world has an infinite regress in time and an infinite extension into the future. But it's only from the position of the body-mind, which is so gross that that kind of understanding will arise. By retreating back into the essence of being, time and evolution all disappear, and all there is is a happening, an instantaneous happening a coming forth of life out of itself as a hallucination, as something immaterial, something dreamlike. You go further back into the light and the dream itself disappears and there's nothing but consciousness in its primevally unmanifest form. Then there's nothing. There's nobody. There's no nowhere. That's the whole range of existence. <clears throat>